Missouri wins this Tuesday matchup with Missouri State 6-2. We have a chance to visit with Cameron Meisner of the Tigers tonight, who went deep in the sixth. Let's begin right there, Cam. Take me through the home run that you hit out to right center field tonight. Uh, you know, I've uh, I've been getting a lot of fastballs lately, and I've been fouling a lot of them off. And uh, you know, I just really focus on putting the barrel to it, and, and you know, letting the you know letting the barrel do the work. So Cameron, you're a marked man in this lineup this year, and you've earned that. So you know, teams will pitch you off the plate, maybe avoid you, breaking ball early in the count. With all the different ways you've been pitched this year, what what has been your approach right now as far as dealing with that, and what you're looking for in your at bats? Uh, you know, they uh, you know, their have teams have been, you know, they they don't necessarily leave anything over the plate, but for the most part, they you know they have been throwing throwing strikes, and you know, I just need to be a little more aggressive and and hit more. I can hit more pitches and than what I swing at, so I really just need to start swinging a little more. What's this year like been like for you? Because I know there were some tough times. You kind of had to battle through some stuff, but where do you feel like you're at right now getting into this latter part of the season? Oh, yeah, I've definitely you know, had my struggles this season. Um, you know, I think I just staying, you know, staying aggressive and staying, uh, you know, to the part and, you know, knowing what I want and, and just doing, staying to my approach and sticking to it and, you know, just not getting away from it. I still got to be disciplined and, uh, and I just can't. I can't try and do too much. I just gotta. I just gotta do my thing and you know stick to it. And Cameron, for you guys as a team, you know, I mean, you're right there. If you guys can have a nice finish in the SEC, I mean, the, the NCAA tournament, you guys have had a beautiful non-conference season. We talked to TJ Sikama earlier, and he talked about you guys met as a team recently on this, and because you've been through this the last the last couple of years, kind of been close and knocking on the door. What what as a leader on this team, what's been your message to the guys as as far as how to finish the season the way you want to? Yeah, we're uh, you know we're definitely in a good spot and uh, this is the exact spot we want to be in and and just kind of I guess changing the mindset you know all the all the different stuff had come out social media wise you know we're ranked and whatnot and just kind of keeping a level head and the mindset you know like we're not done and we got a whole lot we got a long lot, or a, a lot longer to go so. Hey, speaking of T.J. Sycamore, we had a little fun tonight. He was on with us. I don't know if you know uh, during the seventh inning, and we asked him how would you pitch. To Cameron Meisner, <laughs> and he, told, he said, "Hey, we, we face each other in the you know in the scrimmages and all. How do you think he he, he pitches to to you? But what, what's your perspective from that?" T, <laughs> TJ, uh, every single time I ever faced TJ, he jammed me. I think yep. one one time I. Uh, it's exactly what he said. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. He's so he's funky, and it takes you it takes your your third at bat against him to really you know lock it in. He's just. He's got a weird arm angle, and he, you know, he's a competitor, and it's tough to hit against him. Yeah, he kind of said he just has dominated you for three years, Cameron. I don't know if you want to take that up at dinner tonight. But, hey, let me ask you this. You faced some really impressive arms in the SEC over your three years. Who are some guys that really stand out over the course of your time at Mizzou in the league that you've seen that – I mean, some of these guys are going to be big leaguers. Oh, yeah. You know, this year? Uh, the last three years, any of the three years. You know, my freshman year, uh, you know, we faced Kyle Wright, Vanderbilt, and he was – you know he was real good. Uh, last year, Casey Mize, you know he was real good. Uh, Singer was real good. I had a tough time against Pilkington, the, you know, yeah. the Mississippi State left-handed. Um, you know uh, Texas A&M had some real good lefties in Georgia this year. They're uh, they're Friday night guy. Hancock, goodness. Yeah, oh man, he's good. Um, you should try to be his agent. I think <laughs> he's going to be a pretty good pick. Yeah, he's going to be real good. Um, Actually, Mike just wants to be your agent. We'll yeah. leave it there. <laughs> no yeah. shortage of good arms in this league, man. <laughs> no, hey. there's a lot of them out there. Hey, been, been, been fun. Thanks so much, Cameron, for the time. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. Cameron Meisner with a home run, double couple of runs scored in Missouri's 6-2 win over Missouri State. One more timeout. We'll come back and wrap it up from Como next. <laughs> 